So we are waiting to board our flight to Luxor for our five day cruise on the Nile. Landed in Luxor, very pleasant flight, and now we're going to be boarding the bus that's going to be taking us to get our luggage. Yeah. Is, this is the Luxor Temple, and this is probably one of the most iconic parts of it, the front of it, because it. this part was built by Ramses II, and uh, so there are six statues in front, two are sitting, four are standing, and it was built upon something that Pharaoh Amonhotep III, or was it the second, you know, built behind there, so he, this has been a continuous in place of worship for the last, since 2000 BC. So all of the religions, you know, from the ancient Egyptian gods to Christianity to Islam, was all practiced here. There's a mosque, you know, that was built on top of a church. So it's very, very old and you have to actually come here to see how impressive it is because pictures really don't do this job.
Okay, so right now we are at uh, the Luxor Temple, and the Luxor Temple is huge, and it's actually built in different times of history uh, in Egypt. So you have a section that was built uh, by someone from the 18th century, uh, someone that was built in the 17th century. The Romans built a certain portion of it or renovated a certain portion of it. And the portion we're in right now was actually renovated by Alexander the Great. Uh, Alexander the Great. So uh, he was Greek and uh, he actually followed and paid homage to the god Amun-Ra, which is the sun god. And uh, he followed the customs of the people. This is one thing about Alexander the Great is that he followed the customs of the people so that he would be accepted and loved. So right here we see depictions of Alexander, you know, uh, paying homage to the god Amun-Ra. Some cases where he's giving perfume, giving food, uh, and just, you know, offering sacrifices. You know, it's just amazing. So there's so much history here, and um, so much that I didn't realize about, you know, the Luxor Temple. You know, Luxor Temple had two obelisks. You see this one obelisk to, that I'm pointing to right now. The one over here was cut, you know, by the French and was taken back to France, but it was actually given by um, Muhammad Ali, who was um, a king at the time of Egypt. And he gave them permission to cut it and take it back to Paris. So if you're in Paris, you can actually see the cousin of this one or the brother of this one, this column. It's just amazing. 